Okay guys, so uh, this is Hodish Hockey here uh, on my break at work because um, we got the draft for the Seattle Kraken and I just want to make a quick video to uh, just get my thoughts out about the pick. Um, very, uh, you know, it's a very off the board move, I guess, um, for Kings fans because Curtis McDermott uh, I've I've railed on him a while. Uh, his defense is just not not NHL level, but he's been you know I kind of have a soft spot for him just because he is very tough. I do like the old school enforcer type of guys, and that's what he is. And um, when they were talking about converting him to forward, I think that was the right pick. Um, it's just uh, I don't know if it's the right pick for Seattle. I mean. When, when it came out that Seattle was kind of looking only at, Wag well not only, but mainly at Wagner and McDermott, you kind of get the sense that they were looking for someone on the Kings who had a certain aspect and, and was, you know, excels at that. So McDermott has toughness, he adds grit to the lineup. Uh, maybe they're thinking that's their Ryan Reeves type of pick from um, Vegas. And then Wagner has the speed. Um, so. I think that's kind of where they were going, but when I look at the the lineup that they have now, I feel like Athanasio would have been a great pick for them. If I was the GM, that's who I would have picked. I think he fits into that style of team where there's not really a top line um, and there's not really a bottom line. You know, every guy's kind of there, so it allows him to kind of find his role and, and basically how well he can do determines his playing time and uh, and, you know, his role on the team, so. Yeah, it's just a, a pretty shocking move. Definitely doesn't hurt the Kings at all. If anything, that's probably the best pick for us. Um, unless you're going to pick, you know, kind of a career AHLer, which I guess you could argue that McDermott could be or is. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's, I guess, losing a big body, losing a, a physical presence. I think that probably means that Brendan Lemieux is going to stay. Um, and, and be part of the team going forward for a little bit longer because I do think that they value that kind of that kind of player that kind of grit um, But yeah, I mean, I think we got out unscathed uh, Like I said before we're lucky to not have any juicy players that were available. So um, you know, it's uh, It's goodbye to Curtis McDermott and um, you know wish him luck in Seattle, I guess but uh yeah, it's going to be interesting to see Seattle in the league now because they're a very, uh, very um, interesting looking team. Obviously, Vegas didn't look great on paper, so we'll see what happens uh, throughout the rest of the offseason. But a new rival, a uh, new Pacific Division rival, and uh, they're going to have Curtis McDermott. So uh, thanks for watching this uh, much different video, and uh, I will be back in a more normal style uh, with some more news hopefully soon because free agency starts I think the 28th there's going to be the draft this week so a lot of good stuff and uh, stay tuned stay subscribed and uh, thank you guys for watching